Hi, it is Marie, and I am back again today with another video. Uh, it's a little early than the last one, uh, but I just wanted to make this video today, and so here I am, early. Uh, but anyways, I want to say, first of all, I created a Twitter for this channel, specifically for this channel, today. Uh, so that'll be down in the description box. If you want to follow me, if you want to ask me any questions, that'll be down in the description box. Um, secondly, I'm sorry for this lighting. I know it's atrocious. I can't seem to fix it though, uh, so I'm sorry in advance. Uh, but uh, anyways, on with the video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about, and well, I wanted to give advice um, for anyone uh, entering into college or thinking about applying or visiting colleges uh, in the next year or so, uh, you know, uh, the college transition can be difficult for anyone, uh, but when you add a disability like CP to the mix, uh, it can be even more challenging. And so I just wanted to uh, give advice based on what I learned um, from my experience. I just got done with my sophomore year of college. Uh, and so this is where that inspiration for this video came from. And so I want to start out by talking about the people uh, that are applying or either visiting colleges. Um, and I have two pieces of advice for you guys. Um, my first is that, you know, don't be scared to consider a small or a medium-sized campus. I go to a medium-sized campus. It is actually pretty small though. Um, but what I like about it is I don't have to worry about where my class is or if I'm going to get there on time. Um, because, you know, in college you shouldn't have to worry about that stuff. You've, you've got enough stuff to worry about. Um, and I also like it because I get to build relationships with my professors. You know, there aren't many people on the campus itself. Uh, and so I get to sit in classes of about 15 people. And I get to talk to professors, I get to build those relationships, which is really all of what college is about. Uh, and thirdly, I like it because I don't have to get on a bus, I don't have to bike, I don't have to walk across all different types of terrain uh, to get to where I'm going. You know, it's just simple. Uh, and and I think accessibility is better when you've, you have cerebral palsy. Um, my second piece of advice is when you visit the campus, uh, check out the Disabilities Resource Center. I think just about every campus uh, in this country has uh, some type of Disability Resource Center. Um, even if you don't end up using it, uh, it's just really nice to know that you, you're aware of someone that can or could watch out for you uh, and you know what resources are available to you. Uh, even if you don't use them again. Uh, so my advice for people uh, that are incoming freshmen, uh, you're embarking on your first independent adventure, um, and you know, it's, it's a fun time. Uh, uh, congratulations. Um, my, my first piece of advice for you would be to join a club an activity, a sport, uh, just to get to know people. Uh, it makes you feel more a part of the campus and a part of the school. Uh, and again, you get to know people. Uh, it makes it smoother to have someone you can rely on so you're not independent all the time. Uh, my second piece of advice uh, would be to uh, not be afraid to ask for help. Uh, cerebral palsy, at least for me, has made me very stubborn. I like to do stuff. I like to prove myself. Uh, but sometimes you need that help. And it's a whole new world, as I mentioned before. And you might need that help um, more, than you, more than you think you do. Uh, so just always keep that in mind. Uh, my third piece of advice uh, would be to learn to manage your time. Uh, whether that's walking from point A to point B, if you need that extra time, uh, you know, take it and schedule it out. 
Uh, also, schedule out the time you need to do your homework. Uh, cerebral, cerebral palsy uh, makes me take more time on my work. Um, and then, so that's always in the back of my mind is I need to slow down. I need to get this stuff done so I can go on to that. Uh, and, and honestly, uh, my last piece of advice be just don't be afraid to meet people and especially don't be afraid to meet people with cerebral palsy. I've been amazed at how many people I've met at my campus who have CP uh, and it's more people than I've ever met in my life uh, It's and it's a whole other conversation. Um, but other than that, I wish you luck. Um, if you have any questions, again, I have that newly created Twitter, um, and you can comment down below, uh, but I wish you luck, uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.